Hey guys, welcome back. It's Don Wazzy here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the vertical tracking scenario in creative to use in your own maps. So stay tuned until the end of the video to find out how. So similar to my horizontal tracking tutorial that I showed you, this one's going to be very similar um, in terms of everything is more or less the same except from the way you make the actual scenario. But I'm going to go through everything again just in case um, you didn't watch the horizontal tracking tutorial. That video will also be in the description. So what you're going to want is a creature manager, a creature spawner, uh, one trigger, one trigger device, speed pad, uh, damage, volume, and a ramp and a wall. And I'm going to go through all the settings one by one with you. So, starting with the creature manager, I, l like I said in the last video, I like to choose, you know, zombies that are really bright, like the gold one or the red fiend, or something like that. Something that's really visible and light. Just so it, it gives people an easier time at OM train. Then, in terms of the health, you can set this to whatever you want. I usually set it to either 1000 or 1500, depending on how long your scenario is going to go for. And then the score is set to 1. Everything else is set to default. You can change the movement speed, but it doesn't make no difference whatsoever. The next one is the creature spawner. We're going to go down this one by one. Creature type is the same as your creature manager. Number of creatures, one. Total spawn limit, infinite. Wave timer, one second. Activation range is 15 tiles and despawn range is 20 tiles. Just a quick note that the zombies cannot spawn over 75 tiles. So if you go a further distance than 75 tiles, they do not spawn unless you start... Um, closer than 75 tiles and then move back and then the spawns are kind of buggy at a certain distance zombies become like really glitchy when they're moving around so they're hard to make really long distance tracking scenarios with but anyway we'll get back to this despawn type is on distance to enemy invincible spawner is on spawner visibility is off damage spawner after spawn is off destroy structures at spawn location is off spawn effects visibility is off Max spawn distance is a quarter of a tile. Spawn through walls is off. Preferred spawn location is at max distance. Enable at game start is disabled. And the reason why we've disabled it is because we will be making an on and off switch for the scenario. Enable when receiving from is whichever channel you want your on switch to be. So mine's channel one because I'm in an empty, um, an empty world. And then the second one is your off channel, which is disabled when receiving from. Mine is right now going to be number two. And then you want to set the eliminate creatures when receiving from to the same channel as your off switch. So just when you finish a scenario and decide to reset it or turn it off, the zombie will die at the same time. Next, you're going to want a trigger device. And... Go into the trigger device, activating team is any, activating class is any, triggered by player is off, triggered by damage is on, triggered by items is off and by vehicles is off and by sequences. Activate on game phase none, times can trigger infinite, transmit every X triggers is one, delay is none, reset delay is none, sound effects and VFX are both disabled but you can have these on depending on whether you like it, it's just personal preference. Visible in game, uh, if you're making your own on and off buttons, uh, you're gonna wanna turn this to no, but for, for the purpose of the t tutorial, I'm gonna keep this on yes. So, you, so we'll be able to see the on and off switch. Receive damage while invisible, make sure this is on take damage. Just in case, if you have this off, it will not activate the trigger when you start the map because your trigger will be invisible uh, but that's for when you make an actual on and off switch you know like a really good looking one enable on game start is enabled enable one receiving from all this is basically 
uh, no channel and then right at the bottom when triggered transmit on channel one which is my own switch and then you're just going to want to copy and paste this trigger and go into the second one that you've just made go right down to the bottom and change that to the same number as your off switch so mine was channel two so i'm changing it to channel two there you have your on and off switch for the scenario now you want speed pads set to medium and then a damage volume to make it as dummy proof as possible um you're gonna want to go down to effects players and turn this off just in case because you know what people are like when you know using maps then you're gonna want a ramp and a wall and a floor so i've set this up here um with the vertical tracking scenario you always you're always going to want it as an odd number you never want it as an even number uh, that's just my personal preference because i always like the vertical scenario to finish at the top so i always have it as an odd number so you're going to want to start by grabbing your wall and making the base of the scenario so i like to i'm going to go like nine tiles up or just a few just go as many as you want really and then I'm going to start by making this kind of box shape within the scenario. Kind of gone the long way about it. I could have just copied and pasted it, but oh well. We're already there now. So now you have your sort of outline you're going to want to start making the path that the zombie will lead so on the the zombie's going to start here and he's going to shoot up there be knocked on and come down this one so you're going to want to make a wall here and then a wall in the center just in case you want a wall in the center you don't have to have one I tend to make one, but I always make that two layers below like that. So then he's going to fling up here and then come back down this way. Then at the bottom here, you're going to want to delete these two and make another wall going up. Grab your ramp and just copy that. And basically copy the same over and over again. And always make sure you delete the two blocks at the bottom. And then for the last one, you're just going to want to make a box. And that's basically how you do the like layout to it. Now, you're going to want to go into devices and grab your speed pads. And then set them up, one facing the wall. And then just put them all the way up. I like to set the top one a high just so it flings. And then come down here. Set this going straight to this wall here. Because for some reason when you do it on this one it don't work. Uh, I don't know why but it just don't work. And then put this going all the way up. And same again, set this one to high. And he's going to fling off there and come back down this way. And then you're just going to want to do the same again. All the way till the end. So the last box. And then when you get to the last box, you want to get your damage volume. And place that on the roof like so and just go in oh, we'll just go in and change the settings the effects players to no and there you have the basic layout of how to set it up now you're going to want to grab your creature spawner and then just put it as close to the wall as possible so the creature doesn't spawn outside of this and then grab your on and off switch and you can put them wherever you like. Uh, I'm just going to put them on the floor for now. And that's how you make the scenario. So what you're going to want to do now is let me just 
delete this. Start the game and we will test it out. Shoot the onset, like so. And as you can see, the zombie's going in a nice motion around. And that is how you make the vertical tracking scenario in Fortnite Creative. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to let me know. Leave a comment. And if you like this content and you like seeing how this, the scenarios are made, please leave me a like, subscribe, leave me a comment. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much. I just want to say thank you to everyone using my supporter creator code. It really helps me with, you know, making these maps and being able to afford, you know, to sit and game all day so thank you very much guys see you later bye